There were many people across Britain whose lives were changed by the Industrial Revolution in the early 19th century. The whole of the nation changed greatly with a shift towards machines and factories, with people moving also to urban areas, away from the rural countryside. But as machines were used to do certain jobs, such as making clothes, many British people lost their jobs and livelihoods, as machines could do things at a much greater speed using mass production. But there were a number of people who sought to destroy and break machines, as they were angry at their lives being changed, and how the machines significantly affected them, and people were losing lots of money. But Jeremiah Branruff, who has gone down in history as one of the last people to be beheaded by an axe after he was hanged for his crimes. But what is the story behind his execution? To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Jeremiah Brandreth was born in Wilford in Nottingham in 1785 and he was later known as a Nottingham captain. He became a stocking maker and married in 1811. He moved then to Sutton and Ashfield where he worked along with his wife and three children and he was known in the area as a Luddite. These were a secret organisation that protested against the use of machines in the Industrial Revolution that replaced labour and Luddites were fearful that their skills and their craft would be wasted and would go extinct. This was true as machines were replacing their role in industry and many people were left unemployed and angry with the new way of working. The Luddite movement began in Nottingham and many of these Luddites protested against the use of machines and even broke them to prevent them being used. Parliament later had to bring a new law with the Frame Breaking Act of 1812 meaning that anyone who broke machines and frames could be sentenced to death for doing this. But Jeremiah Brandreth was involved in a Luddite raid on a factory in 1811 that resulted in the death of a Luddite who was shot by the factory owner. But in May 1817, he met with William J. Oliver, also known as Oliver the Spy, and the pair agreed to raise a rebellion. They planned to raise 50,000 men, and then they would storm the Tower of London. They wanted to rebel against the government at the time, and in particular the Home Secretary, Lord Sidmouth, and their rebellion and revolution began on the 9th of June 1817. Brandreth held a meeting in a pub in Pentridge called the White Horse, where he asked fellow conspirators to march to Nottingham, where they would be given a hundred guineas, bread, meat and ale. Following this they would then attack a local barracks, overthrow the government and end the poverty and suffering. The rebels led by Brandreth were armed with scythes and pikes and some did have guns, and they wanted to spark a revolution of the working class. At 10pm on the 9th of June, 50 men got together at Hunt's Barn in South Wingfield, and they then searched for more rebels and weapons. At one house, one woman refused to open up, and the rioters broke one of her windows, and Jeremiah Branruth shot his weapon through a window and killed a servant. He continued to issue threats, and threatened to shoot anyone who tried to leave the rebellion. The group of rebels then went towards the Butterley Company's factory in Ripley, Derbyshire, and when they got there they were confronted by the factory agent and also a number of policemen. There was a standoff and some of the rebels left, but Jeremiah then led his remaining rebels into the town of Ripley, and they forced many of the townspeople to join them. They continued to march throughout a number of villages, and they asked for beer, bread and food, but the rebellion was slowly diminishing. They arrived at the village of Giltbrook, where 20 mounted soldiers confronted them, and then at the scene, 40 men were arrested, and over the next few months, Jeremiah Bramruff was also arrested. In total, 35 people involved in the Luddite Rebellion were brought to trial at the Old Bailey in London for what was known as the Pentridge Rising. Jeremiah Bramruff and two others, William Turner and Isaac Ludlam, were all convicted of high treason and were then sentenced to be hanged, drawn and quartered. However, George, the Prince Regent, then commuted the quartering part of this sentence, meaning that Bramruff would be hanged on a gallows, and then would be beheaded. He was kept inside of Derby Jail before the execution took place on the 7th of November 1817. Of his execution it was said, on the 7th of November, Branruff, Turner and Ludlam ascended the scaffold. We feel for Branruff less because it seemed he killed a man, but recollect who instigated him to the proceedings which led to murder. On the word of a dying man, Branruff tells us, Oliver brought him to this, that, but for Oliver, he would not have been there. See too Ludlam and Turner with their sons and brothers and sisters, how they kneel together in this dreadful agony of prayer. With that dreadful penalty before their eyes, 
with that tremendous sanction for all truth he spoke. Turner exclaimed loudly and distinctly, while the executioner was putting the rope round his neck, This is all Oliver, and the government. What more he might have said we might not known, because the chaplain prevented any further observations. Troops of horses were keen with glittering sores, hemmed in the multitudes collected to witness this abominable exhibition. When the stroke of the axe was heard, there was a burst of horror from the crowd. The instant the head was exhibited, there was a tremendous shriek set up, and the multitude ran violently in all directions, as if under the sudden impulse of frenzy. Those who resumed their sanctions groaned and hooted. So Jeremiah Bramruff was hanged on a gallows by an executioner until he was then killed. Following this, an executioner cut down his lifeless body from the gallows, then he got his axe out. He then cut the heads off of the three men, including Jeremiah, and it was said the crowd did not cheer the death of the traitor, and that the cavalry were on edge, if there would have been any trouble in the crowd. But today, Jeremiah Bramruff is known as the man who helped to raise a rebellion in opposition to the Industrial Revolution, and he planned to storm the Tower of London, almost like what was occurring during the Peasants' Revolt of the 14th century. But ultimately, this rebellion never gained traction. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.